reeling around everyone jostling for positions looking at the inside there's a bit of a cut coming in there it looks like uh, could be a uh, Shaw michael fisher who's worked his way up now to p3 Shaw fisher in p3 now rolling down towards boss corner and uh, troy simon still leading out down into golf club out of golf club they come and uh, working their way now out of golf club and it's troy steinman troy steinman leading up steinman down there and it looks like it's a tussle there shall fist up to second up on the inside of lanfear as they make their way up towards the 180s up there behind them kian speaks casey and smith rashawn goodman muhammad wally's in there down in seven ethan steer yifan lee michael beside night olorado secure and zach Layden down in 12. And a Steyman trying to crack on the pace as he goes down into Boss Sweep, down into Golf Club. And a Shal Fisser up now in second, and he'll be wanting to challenge for the lead. He's got Storm Lanfear sitting up behind him, up behind Storm Lanfear is uh, Kian Spies. They work their way past the uh, kiosk, down into holes, flying down into holes now, and there's already a bit of a jostle from the Fisser gang defensive as they come up towards the 180s. Fisser, you see the on screen, Fisser there sitting in second, he's got a whole gaggle of carters up behind him now as they roll around the second 180. Work their way out, out there now and make their way down the back straight down towards uh, Boss Sweep. Simon has a slight peek over his shoulder there, he sees Fisser and Lanfia coming for him. And uh, takes it down into golf club, they tight double right handers, they work their way around, then they had a hang at a hard left coming past Rotax. And uh, work their way now down past the kiosk, down towards holes. Well, it's a lovely, lovely fight out there as they work their way down into turn number one. That's that fight for second, third position. They just do four positions there as they work their way out of turn number one. But it's all about uh, Troy Snyman. That sits there in that first position. The fight is on here for that second position between uh, Shaul Fisser and Storm Lanfear. And there's a lot. Oh, they are muscling four positions there going through the uh, second of the hairpins through the S's and down the back main. They are right on each other. And uh, there's a change there, but have a look at that. It's all about uh, Fissa, Lanfia, Casey Enzo Smith, and Muhammad Wally. That is fighting it out and breaking away now in that second position. He's a Storm Lanfia and he's chasing down race lead into turn number one, Troy Sleiman. Well, Troy Sleiman still holding out there over the front end of the field. Storm Lanfia cracking pace now, has got past Fissa. Fisser down in third, Mohamed Wally has climbed the ranks and finds himself in P4. Wally already challenging for that third position. Has he come through? We'll have to wait and see now as they make the way down the back straight. There's still Troy Sleiman. Sleiman cracking on the pace, Lanfear is going in search of him. It looks like Wally has got through, Mohamed Wally has moved up to third and Shal Fisser down into four. Well, Shal Fisser not having all his own way, the homeboy, but who is his uh, Storm Lanfear? Cracking it on the MP second, but Muhammad Wally has got missile lock on him and they go down into holes. Muhammad Wally now up to third. So Muhammad Wally this morning looking very relaxed now as he comes out of holes and makes his way up towards the 180s. Wally sitting out there in that third place, but there's still a massive fight for four, five, and six. And that is between Fissa, KC, Enzo Smith, and Kian Spies. They're involved in that fight through the 180s. They come now down the back straight they race. And uh, working their way down the back main towards uh, Boyd Boss Sweep, racing down towards uh, the double right hand of Golf Club. Now it is Slayman that's working his way towards us, followed there by Storm Lanfear, but Mohamed Wally is attacking. Mohamed Wally is attacking him as they work their way through Kios Kink and race back down into turn number one. And Lanfear's second position is up for grabs as Mohamed Wali is crawling over the back of him as they race down towards the Hepins, the 180s Hepin 1 and now Hepin 2. Troy Steyman just holding sway over the front there. Wally now creeping all over the back there of Lanfear. Lanfear won't uh, put up with it much as he tries again. Wally's got past him. Wally goes to second. So Mohamed Wally is already up to second. The gloves are off. The fight is on. And uh, Wally is now turning up the wick now as he goes in search of Stayman and will take Lanfear with him. Lanfear won't be too happy that Fisser has got uh, Casey Enzo Smith all over the back of him like a cheap suit now as they make their way down to Holes. I'll be watching that one. He gave him a bit of a thump earlier on when they went down into a uh, boss boy sweep. And uh, Casey Enzo Smith has not done out there with Charles Fisser yet as the two of them worked their way into the first of the airpins. 
That's that fight for B4 and 5 working its way through the 180s right now. And uh, in that fourth position, currently we have got Shaul Fisser. Down the back, Mainy goes. He's getting away there from Casey and Smith as they race down towards the Boss Boyd sweep. And the uh, Fisser is saying to Smith, you know what, this is my home track and uh, you're going to have to try and beat me out as the two of them work their way past. And right behind them is another fight. That's the 2-2-3 two, two, in there. And that is a, uh, Ethan Steer and a Russian Goodman is right on his case as they work their way down into turn one. Right, so uh, Troy Slayman still holding out the lead there into the 180s. He goes there up behind him now. Mohamed Wally, Storm Lanfear losing a bit of touch with Wally. They're trying to stay as they come out of the second 180 down the back straight. Wally giving it a crack as he goes down towards Boss Sweep. There goes your leader, Troy Slayman, down into uh, Golf Club. Working his way around. Wally being hounded there by Storm Lanfear behind them. Shaw Michael Fissi and Casey Andrew Smith behind them. Kian Spies and Ethan Steer. Having a right roll better than it's with Sean Goodman and Mikhail Besaidno. They double dices all over the show as the leaders go down now into holes. Right, the leaders working their way down into holes. Look, the whole group of them is working out of holes, but it's all about Troy Snyman that sits out there in the P1 as the rest of the field work their way through that 180s with the Wally and Lanfear still in that second and third positions. The three of them working their way down that uh, long back straight towards Boss Boy Sweep. Then uh, Fisser still got uh, Enzo Smith for company as the two of them work their way into the double right hand uh, golf club and working their way now out of Rotax Bend. Well, someone that's uh, not having a good day over it, down in ninth position, Western Province Senior Max Champion Matthew Wadley finds himself down in nine, not the greatest starts, and has had a lot of work to do as he tries to find his way through. But it's still Troy Stamon leading out, Storm Lanfear. Posting the quickest time of the of the race there now, 41.7. So he's up the ante a little bit here in the closing stages with three laps to go. Troy Stamon still holding sway there now as Mohammed Wally reels him in. Storm Lanfear tries to stay in touch. Shalfus and Casey Enzo Smith still at it. Hammer and tongs now as they work their way down towards Boss Sweep. And it looks like Ethan Steer has got past uh, Kian Spies. So Ethan Steer moves up. So the local lads starting to entertain. Keeping an eye on that one there, that is uh, Spies and uh, Steer as the two of them work their way towards us and uh, through the 180s, uh, sorry, through the kiosk ink, they race now towards turn number one but watching out for those leaders that are heading into the 180s and Troy Snyman has been caught there by Muhammad Wali. One is getting a whole lot closer to him as they work their way now through the S's and onto the back straight. Muhammad Wali in that second place is closing the gap there on Troy Snyman. Snyman looks over his shoulder and stares into the visor of Muhammad Wali as they work their way out of the double right-hander out of golf club and sitting right in there behind them is Storm Lanfear. Well, on screen you see there uh, Charles Fisser fending off Casey Enzer Smith. Two great carters in their own right as they f battle it out. On screen there, they come across the screen there, Charles and Casey Enzer Smith, but Troy Stamon leading up Mohamed Wally now. Quickest man on the circuit by far as a 41 4 now, and he's starting to chase uh, Troy Stamon. Stamon possibly running those tyres off early in the heat. And uh, the last lap board being shown there to the drivers now. And Wally is right up there. Wally has a look. He dives up on the inside, but he gets a bit of a fishtail. And it brings Storm Lanfear into the picture. And we've got a right royal battle at the front end. Check it flag is beckoning for these guys as they work their way down towards it. And it's still uh, uh, going to be up front. It's a slam on his right uh, in that lead there. But here they come down towards him. There's a dive out there side by side across the line. And Snayman just gets to the flag. Ahead of Wally, they were virtually side by side, followed there by Storm Lampier, and then Ethan Steer gets to the checkered flag ahead of Charles Fisser. That one changed the round on the last lap. Away we go as the lights go off, storming down into turn number one. It is this whole gaggle of senior Max Carts that worked their way out at turn number one. We'll have a look now. It's got the lead as they're trying each and every single possible racing line around Kalani Kart Circuit. Through uh, turn number two they go. Or should I say the second happen? Working their way down onto that back straight. It looks like it's Wally that sits out there in P1. It is Mohamed Wally. That's there in P1. Storm Lanfear is there in that second position. The double two seven of Lanfear. Finds himself there in second, so he got his nose ahead of Casey Enzer Smith, who's not in that top three. That I can tell you. 
It is uh, Troy uh, Sleiman that sits there in that third place, Francois, as they race down back towards turn one. Right up there behind him, uh, Troy Sleiman, Casey Edison with Charles Fisser, Ethan Burstein and Kian Spies down in seven now as they work their way now into their 180s high speed train. Senior Max Owen is a bit of a challenge up front there. Lots of uh, jostling for positions in the second 180 and they make their way out. And it looks like it's uh, the local lad that's gone to the front, it's Storm Lanfear. Lanfear and Wally has dropped down to P4. Lanfear leads out. And down into Golf Club. Working the way out of Golf Club now. Attack that right hander past Rotex. And uh, Lanfear has dropped to second. And uh, there ahead of him now is the uh, triple two of Troy Sleiman. Sleiman back to the lead now. And he's ahead there of Lanfear as uh, they make their way through down into turn number one. Right, Casey Enza Smith sits there in that uh, third position as they work their way out of turn number one through the kink and race down. And somebody's gone into the tyre barriers. Somebody just clouted that tyre barrier very hard indeed. The yellow flags is out. Is that, we'll have a look and see, is that Enza Smith? It might be. I don't see him in that top uh, four or five. It might be Casey Enza Smith. I speak under correction. He's out of the cart, but... Uh, from what it looks like, it could be Casey, but we'll have to have a look and see. Troy Sleiman, Storm Lanfear, and Charles Fisser. It's missing Casey Enza Smith. So Smith is out. Casey Enza Smith is out as they cross the line. They've got 12 laps to go. Troy Sleiman has a bit of a lead. Charles Fisser challenges, and I think Charles gone up into second. Fisser there ahead now of uh, Storm Lanfear. So, uh, Local lad and uh, previous Cinemax champion Charles Fisser now finds himself in second place. He's going to go in search of Steyman. But Troy Steyman is on a fly. He's down the back straight. Fisser's got uh, that man sitting with him. That Storm Lanfear is giving him a push. Mohammed Wally is down there in four. Followed there by Ethan Wurstander. As they make their way now into uh, golf club out there. Pa left hand pass Rotex. Steyman's got his uh, P's and Q's together. And he's chasing hard. Can Charles Fisser really mean? Right, working the way back down into turn number one. Through turn one they go right now, and it's not going to be easy to catch Troy Slayman. Remember, he won uh, the opening heat. He sits in P1 for this one as uh, they work their way into that 180s. He's got uh, uh, Charles Fisser and Storm Lanfear in that second and third positions. Uh, Lanfear was right on the case of Fisser earlier on, but now Fisser's going to have a look. Fisser dies up on the inside into Boss Sweep and Golf Club. And it is a Shaul Fisser that gets his nose into the lead. Shaul Fisser there with hometown advantage. And when he's in the front, he is a dogged man to pass as he leads out. Troy Steyman's there, Storm Lanfear. Then it's Mohamed Wally and Ethan Wurstander. A little bit further back, it's Kian Swiss, Alorado, Sukudu, uh, Roshan Goodman and uh, Mikhail Besaidnot that are chasing him. Matthew Wavy still down in P10, has got a mountain to climb as the leader's now going to the first of the 180s. And Shaul Michael Fisser leads out. Can he be overtaken? Well, Steyman's the only man that possibly got the recipe for that one now as they make the right-hander down the back straight. Fisser leads out, gets his head down, and he works his way down towards Boss Corner. He takes it down into Boss Sweep and into Golf Club, and uh, status quo remains beautiful on shots coming there off the track as they reel around and hang a left down there towards the kiosk king. Fisser leads out. Up behind him, Steyman. Then it's Lanfear. Up behind Lanfear is Mohammed Wally, then Ethan Bush under. They work their way down the main straight now towards turn number one. Right, through turn number one they go, working their way up there. There's nothing between that top five of those who work their way through the kink down towards the 180s. And it's still Troy Snayman that sits out there in P1. So you know, I lie, it's Fisser that's there in P1. Snayman sits there in that uh, second position. Well, he won heat number one. He might not win the second one, but he's going to have a look. He's going to have a look. He sits there in second, Slayman Fisser leads as they race down towards a golf club. Out of golf club they come now, Fisser P1, Slayman is second, then it's Mohamed Wally uh, that is there, followed there by Storm Lanfear, and behind him it is uh, Ethan Thunder that's in P5. Well, Mohamed Wally is starting to turn up the wick, one of the quicker guys out on the circuit at the moment, and he sits there behind uh, Storm Lanfear. Wally has a look up on the inside. There's no space. Still Charles Fisser who leads out. Then Storm Lanfear. Look at the top five now. Closing up. Six and seven. Not too far behind that Spice and Sakudu. Fisser head down. Snayman goes slightly defensive there with Mohammed Wally. Crawling all over the back of him like a cheap suit. As they go down into golf club. They work their way out. Hang a left. And Snayman goes to the front. Snayman just pips out there and goes to the front. 
And uh, Fisser now has got his hands full because he's the meat in the sandwich with Wally and Snyman. Yeah, Wally Snyman and then Bush Thunder. And we've got a challenge here for second. I don't think that Wally got through. No, we never. It is still uh, Fisser that sits in that second position and uh, working their way through that uh, 180 complex to that second airpin. And this is now where Snyman is going to try and pull the pin and disappear down the road because he's got Fisser in second. Wally that's there in third. Mohamed Wally looked up on the inside of Shaul Fisser going into a Boyd Boss sweep. But uh, Fisser stays in P2. Wally in three, followed there by a Troy, uh, by um, Storm Lanfia. And right behind him is Ethan Boerstander rounding off the top five. Well, Ethan had a look at uh, Storm Lanfia earlier on, but Storm had none of it now. Still Troy Slayman who's got the recipe together as he got past Shaul Fisser, as I said earlier. Not an easy man to pass. But they work their way into the 180s now. Slayman leads out over Fisser. Wally has a look up on the inside and Wally makes it stick. Wally goes to two ahead of Fisser. Fisser must be very aggravated with that one, leaving a door wide open and uh, going in there. Watch that replay there as he goes in and just forces a quick shot out there on Fisser. And Fisser not taking that one lightly. He will come back fighting. Well, he sits there now just ahead of Storm Lanfia. Does a Charles Fisser in that uh, race down towards turn number one. Behind them, we've got Ethan Bustander. Then uh, Sakudu is just ahead of Spies in their own little fight for P6 uh, and 7. But that leaders are working their way into the uh, 180s. Through the 180s they go and Troy Snyman is saying, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to stay out of here. But uh, Muhammad Wali in that second place has got other ideas. Then it is uh, Storm Lanfia that's ahead there of Shaul Fisser. And right on his case is Ethan Boerstander as they work their way through Golf Club. Some great driving coming out of Storm Lanfia there. Lies in third behind the blue and part of Muhammad Wally. Wally and picture coming through there now. Then uh, Stayman leads out up over the line. There Stayman goes down into turn number one. Brings it in there. Muhammad Wally up behind him. Then it's uh, Storm Lanfia. Shaul Fisser, Ethan Burstunder. Behind him there it's uh, Olorata Zakudu ahead there of Kian Spice. As the drivers take it into the 180s. They work through the 180s. Still Stayman leads out. Mohamed Wally has got a whole train of carts up behind him there. It's Storm Lanthier, Schalfisser and uh, Ethan Wurstander. They make their way down towards uh, Boss Sweep. Into the sweep they go. You see the line there on circuit as they work their way through now into Golf Club. Work their way around Golf Club. It's a quick sudden left-hander then down through the kink as they work their way towards the Kiosk King. And Stayman has been reeled in there by Wally. Wally there with that green helmet on is reading in Stayman as they work their way down into turn number one. Will there be a challenge in one? No. Snyman holds him off. Wally, and then it's Lanfia, Fisser, and Boerstander. Right, so their leaders making their way back down into the uh, 180s they go right now. And through the 180s they go, and Snyman has been caught. He has been caught, hand over fist there. Mohamed Wally sits right on his case as they work their way down the back main. Followed there by Storm Lanfia. Behind Lanfia is Shaul Fisser. Not too far behind them is Ethan Boerstander as they work their way through the double right-hander. Out of Golf Club, they come right now, and there's nothing between these four as they work the kiosk kink. And uh, Snayman, well, heat number one was a lot easier for Snayman. He might have a challenge. He's covering the line very nicely. He's a Snayman because he knew that Wally was going to dive up on the inside. Well, they had a look there. It looks like uh, Storm Lanfield went through, and oh, there's a lot of challenge going through there. Somebody has slid through. I think that's Wally. I think Muhammad Wally's gone to the front. Wally has gone to the front. He slid his way in going into the 180s and he goes to the front and brings the Shaul Fisser. And oh, and then it's going to be. Uh, yeah, and then it's going to be Storm Lanfia and Stamon drops down to four. He opened up the door and everyone just bucketed in there. So Wally leads out now. Can Fisser challenge Wally? We're going to get. Uh, we've got the last lap board coming out. One more lap to go for them as they race down towards turn number one. And will Mohamed Wally do it or is Charles Fisser going to go for it? I'm telling you, Fisser does go. He'll go down into a golf club. He's not going to uh, make the move in the 180s. It'll either be a, a boss sweep or golf club. They'll try a move if he makes any move. But is he slowing down? Let me have a look. See there, down the back main they go. No, he, yes he has. He's dropped into third. 
and Snyman has gone from P4 to P2 and they're all mugging Wally down there in Golf Club. Oh, it's a royal battle royal coming out of Golf Club but Wally holds his nerve as they come past Rotex. This is back up to second and Storm Lanfear back to third. Snyman fourth. Check it flag comes out. Muhammad Wally takes heat number two ahead there of Shal Fisher. Then it's Storm Lanfear, Troy Snyman, Ethan Bustander, Bus Allerad and Security. As they work their way towards the tram line, will it be uh, Casey Enza Smith? Will it be Shal Fisser that gets the whole shot? Let's have a look, see as they dive around each other, trying to work their way into turn number one. Different racing lines. Who will get the whole shot as they make their way through the kink and race down towards the 180s? I think it's Enza Smith that's got the lead. Yes, he has. Casey Enza Smith, Shal Fisser started in second. I think he might still be there in that second position yep yeah so the top two are exactly the same then Mohamed Wali is there in third and right behind him is Storm Lanfia as they work their way through Boyd Boss sweep and into golf club well on the start we saw Casey Enzo Smith sweep to the left right up in front of Shoal Fisher Fisher had to take evasive action but fortunately they're still on song and online for that matter as they make their way down to heat number one Casey Enzo Smith enjoys being in the front but he's got the likes of Shoal Fisser right up there behind him. And uh, he's going to have to uh, get, watch his P's and Q's as Fisser sits there with him. And uh, Muhammad Wally is in there as well. Wally uh, kind of waits towards the uh, mid part of the race before he starts attacking. He'll just maintain his position. He's ahead there of uh, Storm Lanfear. And uh, then behind Lanfear we've got... Uh, have a look-see. Is it uh, Troy Stamon? Yep, Troy Stamon sitting up there behind him. The Toy Stamon also one that could attack for the lead. Ah, that is your top five as they make their way through the kink and uh, Kiosk Kink and Pit S's and down the main straight they go. Back down into turn number one. That's all about uh, that five that's working its way towards the 180s. Casey Enza Smith from Shal Fisser, from Muhammad Wali, from Storm Lanfear. And uh, behind uh, Lanfear, we have got uh, Troy Snyman. The triple two of Snyman sits there in a P5. Here comes Mohamed Wali up on the inside of Shal Fisser. And it is Mohamed Wali into Golf Club that moves up into second position. Well, Frankie Mohamed Wali making it so easy. It looks so easy as he went up on the inside of Shal Fisser. You're going to have to keep your eyes on this man. He's going to go now in search of Casey Enzo Smith. He looks like he was being held up by Fisser. Fisser's got it all to do. And Fisser has got uh, right up there behind him is uh, Storm Lanfear and Troy Snyman. So Fisser could come under some more attack now as they dive into the 180s. And Snyman up on the inside of Lanfear and he makes it stick and Storm. And Troy Snyman goes up into P4. Snyman is into P4. Now we'll go after Fisser. And right up behind them there is uh, Alorada Sukudu, Roshan Goodman, Ethan Steer and Ethan Burstander also embroiled in their own battle as the leaders now dive into golf club. Leaders coming out of golf club, Casey Enza Smith from Muhammad Wali, Shal Fiss has now been attacked by Troy Snyman and by Storm Lanfear. That is your top five. That's heading into turn number one. And will we have a move here for that third position? No, we don't. And uh, it is still Snyman that sits there in that fourth position, just there behind the Shoal Fisser as they work their way into the 180s. And right on the case as well is a double to seven of Storm Lanfear. That is your uh, top five cards working their way down the back main towards Golf Club. And it's still being led there by Casey Enza Smith from Muhammad Wali. Well, let's have a look. See now, Enzo Smith comes out there. Wally is getting noticeably closer and pulling away from Shoal Fisser, who's holding up uh, Troy Snyman and uh, Storm Lanfear. Up behind them are a lot of Zakudu doing a sterling job ahead there of Ethan Boerstander, Rashawn Goodman, Ethan Steer, and Mikhail Besaidna. As they all cross the line, making their way down towards turn number one. There's your leader going now into the 180s. That is uh, Casey Enzo Smith. He's been handed there by Mohamed Wally. But just watch Wally. He's uh, using a very calculated approach. You can see uh, Enzo Smith in front of him and he's chasing him down. He will systematically get better as uh, Shal Fisser pulls away from Troy Stamon who's trying to defend off there on uh, that man Storm Lanfear. But your leader is still coming out of uh, Rotex bend into the kiosk there. Casey Enzo Smith, Mohamed Wally, Shal Fisser, Troy Stamon and Storm Lanfear. Up behind him are a lot of Zakudu. Up behind him. Ethan Burstander, then Rashawn Goodman, Ethan Steer, and Mikhail Besaidnok. That is 
your top 10, so to speak, and they are exceptionally close. Right, so that top five, that leading group of five, working its way through the uh, 180s. Through the 180s they come, the two leaders just disappear out of view. That is Charles Fisser that you see there on your screen. Right behind him is uh, Troy Sleiman and uh, Storm Lanfear. That uh, is those three cards just going through your picture there into Golf Club. The two leaders coming out of Golf Club, Casey Ensa Smith and Mohamed Wally. Then it is uh, Fisser, Sleiman and Lanfear. Sakudu leads that uh, second group around with uh, Ethan Boerstander. That is uh, just behind him there, and the rest of them as they race down towards turn one. Well, your leaders back into the 180s. Casey Ensersmith reveling as he leads out there. He's got uh, Muhammad Wally in not uh, too close proximity. They've still got about seven and a half laps to go, so still lots of work to be done, and Enzo Smith is getting the hammer down. Fisser trying his utmost, and Stamon and uh, Lanfear close right up behind him, diving there into golf club. Here comes your leader up towards us now, and that is uh, Casey Enzo Smith. He's used to leading races, Mohamed Wally, a man to watch now as he chases hard. He's in that uh, blue cart, down into turn number one. Enzo Smith and Wally pull away, and Fisser's under attack, and Troy Stamon goes through in turn number one on Charles Fisser. Troy Stamon goes up into P3, up ahead of Fisser. And, well, that is uh, Stamon calculated maneuver coming out of him. So the Cape Town boys are getting mugged here from all corners as uh, they get led by the upcountry boys. So it's uh, Fisser in four and uh, Lanfear five, the two local lads, as uh, the rest of the crowd sit up in front there. And Casey Enzo Smith is not going to be overtaken anytime soon. No, they're not going to catch uh, Casey Enzo Smith at this point in time. He's running away with Mohamed Wally in a comfortable second position. And that third, fourth, and fifth is still up for grabs. It's Sleiman, Fisser, and Lanfear. That is three, four, and five. As they work their way towards the 180s, you can uh, be guaranteed that a Shaw Fisser is not going to hang around in that P4. He's going to want to have a go somewhere at Sleiman and take that third position back. He knows P1 and 2 is uh, not uh, in his uh, reach at this point in time. But that third position, he can easily try and take back there from uh, Troy Sleiman. Beautiful pictures there, exiting there is Troy Sleiman, there's Charles Fisser, and there's Storm Lanfear as they work their way past the Kiosk King on board. And uh, Fisser trying to close down on Sleiman, Sleiman protecting his line as he goes towards the middle of the circuit. Keeps Fisser behind him, going into uh, turn number one. There's your leader now going into the uh, 180s. That is uh, Casey Enzersmith, Mohamed Wally there with that uh, Daglo green helmet sits up behind him. Enzo Smith doing everything right now as he makes his way down the back straight down towards uh, Boss Sweep. And Wally trying everything up behind them there. It's uh, Troy Stamon, Joel Fisser and Storm Lanfear. Line astern as they drive into uh, Golf Club. The leader comes out past uh, Rotex Bend in towards the kiosk bend. It's a left and right hander. Works their way down the main straight with Wally behind him. There is Stamon with Fisser and uh, Lanfear up behind them. That is the kind of lead that they've got over the rest of the field and they're absolutely blowing away. Right, so the leaders are making their way into that uh, 180s. That is a Casey Enzo Smith and Mohamed Wally. But that fight for third position is not done and dusted yet as they work their way out of the 180s. It is still Troy Sleiman from Shaul Fisser and behind Fisser is a Storm Lanfear. Lanfear had a quick look there, but Fisser wanted to know nothing about it as they make their way through Golf Club. Well, Lanfear giving Fisser a little bit of a nudge and say, get on with it, lad. I'm sitting here behind you. Nothing's happening. What's up? Casey Enzo Smith head down towards turn number one. Smith diving in right into turn number one. Mohamed Wally. There is an absolute storm up behind them. But uh, we, uh, for the folks at home, we keep an uh, eye on the uh, leaders. But there's an absolute train there with Olorado, Sakuri, Ethan Burstander, Rashawn Goodman, Mikhail Bassan, and Ethan Steer, and Matthew Wadley all embroiled in a Titanic. Oh, and there's a cart off in turn number one. Yeah, well, one cart off, one cart went wide, and that whole fight for P6, that's still raging on. Oh, they're climbing over each other. Well, this had to give some time in this fight for sixth position. There were so many, many of them, but we go back to the leaders. That is working their way. Across the start-finish line, Enzo Smith in P1, Mohamed Wally still there in second, followed by Sneiman, Fisser and Lanfia. Well, Casey Enzo Smith doing it out there for Kaza Racing there in the product card. Behind him is uh, Mohamed Wally. 
Wally trying to work his way through. Gaza Racing, we're pretty excited with this one now as uh, Casey Enzer Smith makes his way down towards uh, Boss Sweep. They got a great lead there over Troy Snowman and uh, Charles Fisser. Behind Fisser is um, Storm Lanfear. Lanfear sits there in P5. He's been there for much of the race, not being able to get through. And uh, Casey Enzer Smith gets the last lap board and starts his final lap for the day for the Senior Max. Right, one more lap to go for all of them as the top five already working their way on their final lap. But the leader heading into the 180s all on his own. That is uh, Casey Enzer Smith. And that fight for second is not finished. Oh, the fight for third is not done yet because uh, Lanfear had a look there at Fisser and Fisser held that line. So. Casey Enzer Smith, Mahmoud Wally, will Fisser have a go for that third place? Up on the inside he goes, he's going to muscle his way through, why are they going to go off the circuit? No, it is uh, Snayman that got sent back in there as a checkered flag comes out and it's going to be Casey Enzer Smith, P1, second across the line, Mahmoud Wally. And in sixth position, well done, Ethan Steer. Fifth place, a young man that does invest game formula 1600s as well. Put your hands together for Casey Enzo Smith. <laughs> Trying to fight his way through here. Yeah? <laughs> And as he comes forward, in fourth position, local man from Cape Town, Charles Fissa. Yeah. In third position, a young man that worked very hard out there. Well done, Troy Snyman. In second place, probably one of the best drives I've seen him do in a heck of a long time. Well done, Storm Lanfear. <laughs> and your overall winner, what a great performance by Muhammad Wali. Woo!